So today's video is gonna be a little different. We're gonna talk about different accessories and things that you can do to protect your gear whenever you're on set. By the way, this video is not sponsored by any of the brands that I'm gonna talk about. This is just a video that I wanted to put out to show you guys and be more aware of your camera gear because there are times where your camera gear can get stolen. So the very first product that I wanna talk about is this small rig base plate. Now, at first glance, this looks like a standard Arca Swiss base plate, but underneath, there's a secret compartment where you can hide an Apple AirTag. So you'll notice here at the very bottom of the base plate, there is actually four star screws that you can remove, and inside, you can put your own Apple AirTag. Now this whole entire thing is made out of aluminum construction with the exception of where the AirTag is being placed, which is actually pretty brilliant. The way the AirTag works is it needs to be in an area where it can transmit its signal. Now, if this was all aluminum, the signal wouldn't work. So inside here, this piece right here, it's made out of plastic. The other side, there's also a plastic piece in here that you cannot see unless you peel off the rubber, but all this right here is made out of plastic. So once you put this inside, and you look at this, you wouldn't know that there's an air tag hidden inside. So again, you put this underneath your camera, and again, nobody will know that there's a hidden air tag inside. They're gonna know. How would they know? Now this next product that I wanna talk about is from a company called 9Volt that I actually featured here on the channel a couple of months ago as a short. Now when you look at it, it looks like a standard body cap and they're available in different mounts. So for example, you can get it for RF, EF, I'm using the one for E mount. Now when you take this off, you'll notice that on the back, there's a little secret hidden compartment that you wouldn't know it's there. And the reason being, it's because it's being held by two magnets. So the way we have access to this door is by twisting this and once you twist it, you do this, sorry, you gotta twist a little harder. Those magnets are very strong. And then you twist it and then you take this off and there you can see the Apple AirTag is hidden inside. And you can actually see the magnets on each side. Like I said, they are very strong. The material that this is made out of is this carbon fiber composite. Now the design is very simple. As I mentioned, there's the two magnets. You just align these together and you hear a little click. There it is. and you can't even hear that it's inside. Now, usually when I travel, I prefer using this body cap over anything else because I like the fact that it keeps my camera secure. Not to mention, I feel like if there is theft involved, I don't feel like somebody's just gonna take this body cap and toss it. Obviously, this is going to stay with the camera. Also, a little, little fun fact is, if I am using a lens and I place this body cap inside my bag, this is inside my bag, so this also acts like a beacon to my backpack. So let's say I do end up using my camera and I have a lens and I place my bag and this is inside the bag, but then my bag gets stolen, then this, I can be able to track my bag with this because now this is in the bag and they won't know that there's an AirTag hidden inside. So as you can see, there's kind of a theme going on here with Apple AirTags. And the reason being is because they're actually very useful. Now this next accessory is also from SmallRig. And it works a little different from the actual base plate because this actually mounts to your camera cage. Now the base plate is cool because you can use it for your rig if you are in the Arca Swiss ecosystem. As for myself, I rarely use Arca Swiss unless I'm on a gimbal. So with that being said, something like this is a little bit more beneficial where the body cap isn't really beneficial if it's on camera being used because again, we take that off. So this here, you can mount it directly to your cage. Now the cool thing about this particular system is that if somebody were to take your camera cage, this is something that you just can't remove very easily. I mean, it's gonna take some time. I mean, it's a couple of minutes. And the way it works is very similar to their base plate where it requires that special special hex star key to remove these two screws in order to remove the Apple AirTag. And again, you can just mount this directly to your camera cage on the side, on the bottom. And you know, when you look at it at first glance, it almost looks like maybe like a little button, like a Bluetooth button to hit record. It could look like some time code type of deal. Looking at it, you really don't know what it is unless you actually know about the product. Now, all three options are really great solutions depending on the type of environment that you're gonna be working on. But what if you don't have an Apple AirTag? Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is labels. Now, I know this may not help find your lost or stolen camera gear, but this can definitely help deter someone from taking it. Now, I can't tell you how many times I've been on set and I've seen other creators just use that cheap $20 label maker that you can find on Amazon and slap something on their camera gear that you can easily peel off. These are different because these are made out of aluminum, they're tamper resistant, and they're very durable. Let me show you. So when I place this onto any of my camera gear or equipment, it will not come off. So this has this like 
self-destructing thing that when you try to take this off any of your equipment, it just starts to leave like little residue and pieces, making it very difficult to remove. These are very inexpensive considering what camera gear costs. And something else that's really cool is when we're tearing down and we're picking everything up, if I wanna find something, like for example, what if somebody else brought another one of these SSDs? And there's several of them. Well, I know that this one's mine, because it says Armando. So if somebody actually were to find my camera gear, so maybe it could help somebody contact you if it does get stolen or lost, there's my information and you can reach me. So anyway, hopefully all of these items were useful. And if you have something that you know of and you wanna let us know, leave a comment down below. My name is Armando. Thanks again for watching and you will catch me in the next one. Adios.